device called an air mouse. Uh, this comes in handy if you got your tablet hooked up to your TV and you figured it out, you got it all set up, it's playing back great. Uh, only problem is if your TV is across the room and you're getting tired of getting up off the couch to make a selection, to pause it, to increase the volume, that sort of thing. So what makes life a little easier in that case is something called an air mouse. This is usually a two-piece thing, so it has a small dongle that it's going to attach to your tablet, and then using just this mouse, you've got uh, directional buttons and a few other selections you can make, and just comfortably control your tablet from the comfort of your favorite chair or your couch. Let's have a look. Okay, here we have my tablet hooked up to a 32-inch TV, and I'm using the air mouse to scroll the screen or make a selection. Uh, just clicked on uh, AMC app and it's launching that app. You see the cursor as I move my hand to the left, the cursor moved to the left. So basically if, as you move your hand left or right, the cursor will scroll left or right or up and down. There's a button in the middle, an OK button if you just click and hold it you can use it as if you were touching the screen and dragging or if you just make a short depression of the OK button it's like a like you touched or clicked on a icon or item on the screen some features on this mouse work pretty good uh, others not so much there are some directional arrows surrounding the OK button they work so-so There's a home button and some additional buttons that don't seem to do anything. Here I've launched Netflix. And you can see the cursor there as, as my hand moves. The cursor on the screen is moving. I lower my hand, the cursor comes down to the bottom of the screen. And again, you can use the arrow mouse to scroll and make selections. Okay, Netflix is loaded now. I'm going to scroll to one category. So again, that's made by just pressing and holding the OK button while your cursor is in a suitable place on the screen. I haven't tested to see what the maximum distance is. But for making selections, this is one of the uh, cheaper versions of an air mouse I've seen and uh, for making selections and some basic scrolling it seems to do okay I have another air mouse, mouse that I'll show you later on that uh, seems to work much better um, uh, much more responsive That's showing you the volume. There's some dedicated volume buttons at the top of the air mouse, and they work. Uh, that works real well. So for probably for movie or video playback, uh, where you're you're making just a minimum number of selections and you're controlling uh, the, the volume of pausing or restarting a video, uh, this one this will probably do the do the job for you. But again, it's not quite as responsive as a another slightly more expensive air mouse. Here we're back on the home screen, made a selection. Go back. It takes two uh, AAA batteries. And there's a small button inside the battery compartment that once you plug the uh, little receiver into your tablet, you have to press that button to get it to uh, syn synchronize. And with my other air mouse, I think it's the Mizi R11, there was no need to do any of that. You just plugged it in and it worked. 
sir. I'm in uh, an app called Beyond Pod. It's the bot podcast catcher, and I selected uh, an audio podcast. So I'm gonna go back out and uh, select a video podcast. So you can see, uh, this will save you from having to get up off the couch. If you've got several different things you want to watch. Or it's a cold winter day and you're under the covers and you don't want to get out. This works perfectly well for that. Like I say, although this air mouse doesn't work quite as efficiently as my other one, it is uh, about one quarter of the size, a third of the size as the other one, and I'll show you that. A little later on. Okay, back to the home screen. And it's got a power button up the top. And you see the light on to let you know that it is connected. If it wasn't connected, it would be uh, flashing. Again, some of the directional arrows work okay, but not great. Here's the air mouse I was demoing today, the Fly Air Mouse. You can get it at about $16. It's smaller, but not quite as responsive as the Mezi RC12 wireless mouse. You can pick it up for about $26. It's just more responsive and more accurate. Uh, your choice.